share our farm basics time each week, we talk about some commonly asked questions we get from non-farmers. Well, here's one that we got this fall. Why do some farmers do deep tillage? They completely turn that soil over, make everything black out in the fields. Why do some farmers do that and other farmers do nothing? They do no-till. Well, there are a lot of different ways to farm and I'm not saying there's one way that's right and one way that's wrong. But one of the things that many farmers have found some benefit from is doing some deeper tillage in the soil for a variety of reasons. One would be very prevalent right now, compaction. When farmers have had wet conditions and they've been forced to go out in the field to try to get the crop out before the snow falls, well, they create some ruts out in that field. And the only way to really truly clean those ruts up is to do some deep tillage. So when farmers have compacted area where soil is compressed, the only way they can fix that, is the main way, the easiest way, the fastest way is by doing deep tillage. Back when our grandpas used to farm, they didn't have modern herbicides, they didn't have modern insecticides or even modern planters. So they had to use deep tillage for weed control, insect control, disease control, and just to get a better seed bed come spring. They wanted nothing out there other than just simply black soil in the spring so then they could properly plant their seed. Well, today, with all our advancements, we don't have to do all those things anymore, but nevertheless, it is kind of nice every once in a while just to break that cycle with weeds, insects, and diseases. If let's say I did have residue that's been laying out there for two, three years, to do some deep tillage and mix things up again. Well, certainly as you do that tillage, it does break the residue down a lot quicker. We see the infusion of oxygen into the soil and what happens is the residue turns back into available plant nutrients that future crops can benefit from. So farmers who do deep tillage say, well, you know what, the part of the field I did the deep tillage in, I got more yield, I got more nutrients into my crops. That's a short term fix, but it is one of the attractive things about doing some tillage. One of the biggest disadvantages in a lot of cases when people have been no tilling is their fertility is in the top one or two inches of soil, whereas most of their roots are below the top one or two inches in soil. So by simply going out and doing some deep tillage, farmers can stir everything up again, get some of that fertility that's in that top couple inches down into the ground, and that also can lead to more yield. And then in many cases, the farmer can go back to a no-till type situation for many more years once they've fixed what we call nutrient stratification. Well, there are some positive things to doing that deep tillage. There are also some risks like soil erosion and the soil, the field just being too soft to drive into next spring. Those are some of the trade-offs that farmers have to make when they're deciding whether or not to do deep tillage. Well, one of the reasons a farmer might do deep tillage is if he has our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.